you can use patterns with the new repeat feature in Illustrator. Now you have to use it in a particular way, but you can use them. So you've got a design here, you can see the design here. I'm just going to cancel, come out of it. And now, what you can't do is go and create like a design here. I'm just going to create a quick design here and then go to the make pattern. Okay, and now inside that pattern, if you go to the object menu, you go down to repeat, you'll notice you can't access the option for radial. See, there's nothing that you can do. However, a way around that is just going to go over here, and I'm just going to create a basic design here, which you can see. Go to object menu and down to repeat and then radial. So do it the other way around. So radial, and you can see design there. And of course, you can manipulate that. I'm just going to quickly manipulate that design. I just want to, I've just double clicked on it and just change. So I can change it all kinds of different ways. You could create. Now, it'd be really nice if there was a way of capturing this as an animation. There's a new feature in a brilliant application, Clip Studio Paint, that's got a time lapse feature where you can just store any changes you make. So any changes like this would be stored and you could make a really amazing animation very quickly using that approach. However, there's no time lapse feature in this, but I just sort of point that out. Okay, so you've got this design now. I'm in a radio repeat. What I can do then, I can go out. Close that, and there's you've got your radial repeat. Now, that's a standard sort of new object, a radial repeat object. What you can then do is you can create a pattern from that. Slightly odd way around doing it from pattern to radial, can't do, but from radial to pattern, you can. So object, and then go down to pattern, and you can make. So you, it is accessible at this point. And then it comes up with this uh, panel, click OK. And you can see straight away now if I Zoom out a bit, you can see the design. This is a pattern now that you've created. And of course, you can, I'm just going to zoom in again, modify it, and you can still see the radial repeat is still editable. So if I want to, I can increase the number, and you can see as you do that, in the pattern, it changes and updates. So you can create all kinds of really quite nice designs like that. Now, of course, what you can also do is you think, well, I can now edit that design. You can't. It doesn't let you do it. You can do it outside, and I'm going to show you that in a sec. But inside, you can only modify the settings. You can't then edit into the actual path. So, but what you can do, of course, is do all these sort of things. You can see you can create all kinds of designs. And once you've done that change, you can change the color. That's the one thing you can do. So you can say, you know what, I want orange. So orange. And this is stored, of course, in the swatches when you come out. Now I'm going to save a copy. So just save a copy of that one. New pattern for one. It's over here. Okay, it's been done. And also I can go forward, say red. And then at that point, I can also go over here, save copy. Okay, and now obviously I could get rid of that panel, but I'm just keeping it there for obviously this purpose. And I can then modify this design like that. Maybe change the stroke. Let's just go over here, make it maybe a bit. Like that. So you can see the design there. And then again, what you can do, save a copy. And I'm going to do that for a purpose because I want to show you can edit it later. So you've done that, then I've done, finished. Now, if you go over to the swatches, here's the swatches over here, you can see you've got those swatches there now. And if you can't see the swatches, it's window and down to, down here, swatches. So you can see there, swatches. So with this design, but You've got this design, it's still editable. So here, at this point, you can modify it. And of course, you can then go and create another pattern. So I can do that, but I can double click on that. Maybe say, you know, I just want to make it a bit like that. Or maybe go over to the curvature tool, just over here, and just edit the design. So you can just create all kinds of unique designs there. And what you can also do, of course, you can go to, now this, I'm doing this just on, on the fly, so it's might possible it will fail. And there's probably some features of this that it will just say, nope, not going to do, but just go with it. So effect and 3D, extruding then. So you can create, obviously, uh, the 3D there. You can modify, obviously, the extrude depth. Maybe that, maybe not. 
that much, go back there, reasonable, click OK. So you've got your design there and come out of there. And of course, what you can do, oops, do that. I'll go to selection again, and then I can of course save that as object, and go to pattern and make. So I can actually make that a pattern as well. And obviously there's all these settings and the pattern options you've got over here. You can see the number of copies, grid type, brick by row, you can just change all those. But I'm gonna go with just the standard grid. So there's a whole range of different designs you can create just by changing the pattern options over here. You can see now you've got this design, and of course what you can do, you can save a copy of this. Click OK. And that will again appear over here. Yes, you can just about see it in the very small swatches there. So you've got this design, so I'm now gonna cancel all that. And I'm gonna move that out of the way. Because what I wanna do now is I wanna edit on the swatches. So I can actually go to any of them, doesn't matter which one, I'm just gonna choose one, of them. and I can just double click the swatches. And when you do that, you go into this thing and you can see you've got this design. And as soon as you click on the object, you can still modify the rate. So it's actually stored to the fact it's a radial object in here. So you can then, of course, just continue to tweak this and change settings here. You can change the color. And then, of course, save a copy if you want. Click OK. OK. And cancel and so on and so on. Now, what you can also do, of course, with these things, and I'm just gonna quickly go over here. Now, unfortunately, because you can't edit in the way that I would love to be able to edit, you have to do this outside. So just go and select, say, a design like that. You can see your design there. You can see that, or you can click that one or that one. Like that. Well, I'm actually gonna, I want a solid color there. So I've got solid color. What you can do, of course, with that design, you can just put a different angle. You can then, of course, go to object menu and repeat and radial, and you've got your design there. Double click on it. If you want to edit, you can actually add something, so maybe some type. So you can see the type just go all the way around there. And of course, as so you modify that, you can see the type changes. I'll maybe put it like that. Okay, so you've got that design. Then you can come out of there. And then of course you can select this object. And again, what you can do, you can go to object and pattern, make, click okay. And you've got your pattern that's made with this type, as well as obviously, which you can still modify this design here. So you can see, you can change that. And also modify, if you could actually get to see the, there it is. There's the setting there, and you can just maybe make that. So you can see, create all kinds of, and again, save a copy. Click OK. And now still, sadly, you still can't edit the thing. It would be really nice if you could, but that seems to be a limitation on this. It just doesn't allow you to edit all the way down to the source material. I'm not certain why, but that's the way it is. So done and we're out, and there's the obviously initial design, but you've got all the swatches. So literally, you can just go now, and if you want to edit at any point, simply just go over here, double click on that one, and you can see the design again, and you can still change these, but you can't change the lorem ipsum. That's just unfortunately a problem with it, but, but still you can see you can create all kinds of amazing patterns. Now, of course, what you can also do, and I'm just gonna, Just resize that, and you can see you can obviously resize it. But what you can do, you can also can hold down the Alt or Option key, and you can duplicate it. Resize that one only, and again, that pattern is carried across all the way. Maybe change the color. Now, in this case, unfortunately, because of the change in color, the lorem ipsum is lost because they that goes green as well. So it's not convenient. So it's really it's literally best to keep it solid. You know, not change the color at this point which is a pity, but once you've, you've got this design, you can see, you can also, of course, what you can do, you can add some effects, so maybe effects, so blur, Gaussian blur, and it says repeat object expanded. Now that's another problem in the sense, it just ends up not letting you edit that design anymore because of it. 
And it might be, of course, it's pushed it to a limit because it's obviously now applying the blur all the way across all these multiple layers of pattern. So you can really push it. It's obviously doing it. You can see the blur there. I think it's best to avoid it. There are certain limitations, and I would say that you can push it so far, and you might find that, that it goes a bit problematic. So you've got this design. Now, of course, you can, I say, save a copy, and okay, and I'm going to cancel. And you've got, again, you've got your design over here. And of course, what you can do, you can add it to any of these objects. I'll just create another object there, and you can see your design there, which is, again, of course, editable. You still modify this pattern and design numerous ways. It's a great way of creating new patterns just using this new radial bit. Now, of course, what you can also do, and now it probably might fall over, I don't know. Again, I keep saying that because sometimes when I'm doing this, I suddenly think, you know what? What you could also do, and I'm just going to quickly create a, let's create an edge around it. And just go over here, stroke, and I'm going to set a stroke 12. Okay, so I've got this design. I've got to see the design there. Now, what you can do, go to object. Now, I could probably create another pattern based on that. Also, what you can do, you can also do repeat radio, but there's also grid, of course. There's grid and mirror. So there's a couple of other things as well. But I'm going to go with radio. So what you can do, you can see now you've got a radio with a radio of a swatch that's got a radio repeat inside that. And okay, the design gets a bit messy potentially, and you can see the design, but as soon as you, maybe it's not the idea. And of course what you can do, double click on that, and you can see what you can do. You can edit the design there. You can see, modify that. Of course it's not, you're not changing the underlying pattern. You will notice that, that it's that staying the same, but it still means you can create all kinds of pretty unique designs like that. And of course, you can come out, you've got this design here, and you can, of course, still continue to do that. And at any point, you can, of course, go back, double click onto one of those, and you can hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate. So you can then create another part that contains that design. I'm just going to put it maybe a bit smaller than that, so you can see it's like in the center there. And of course, that can be moved around as well. So literally thousands of different designs can be created using this approach. And you can still see moving that around. You can see that the whole thing seems to be uh, quite interesting in its way it uh, interacts. <laughs> it's very odd. But it does give an option to create. And of course, I've been using this, but it's of course literally thousands of different parts could be added into this, not just ellipse. I've gone for ellipse, it's a very simple shape but you could create infinitely more complicated designs than this, which are all sort of repeated out like this. And then of course you can layer on top of these more objects, more of these paths, more patterns. And there may be a certain point where it just suddenly, so it's probably best to save it at certain points because it might hit a problem where it can't handle any more levels of things. So that's, I uh, hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always having new tutorials about Illustrator, uh, obviously Photoshop, and Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, Critter, Rebel, and many, many others. Also, a big point, of course, to point out this, this only works for Illustrator, obviously the latest version. Don't try and use this in 2020 or 2019. It's only 2021 that it will work with. So that's the key thing. Uh, version 25.1, I believe. So... Uh, also, please add some comments. What sort of things would you like, you know, see me do? I mean, what have I done wrong in this? What have you things, what I could do better, things I could explain better? Please let me know in the comments. Always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.